Hey what's up guys welcome back to the another Linux video. This video is about Tails OS privacy and anonymity focused Linux distribution. In this video we will be looking how well Tails OS handle uses privacy and make them anonymous on the internet. So without wasting any time let's get started. As I said, TailsOS aims at preserving privacy and anonymity and helps you to use internet anonymously. All the connection to the internet goes through the Tor network and it leaves no trace on the computer you are using. Like there will be no logs of system and internet. One more thing about TailsOS is that it uses cryptographic tools to encrypt your files, emails and messages. Tails OS is Debian based live system by which I means that there will be no requirement for installing Tails OS in your computer. You can simply download ISO of Tails OS which is about 1.2 GB and you can make a bootable USB or SD card. So you can plug the USB into your computer and boot into Tails OS. So here I will be running Tails OS on virtual machines. If you like to run Tails OS on virtual machine, you can follow these steps. So that's pretty much it you need to do to run a Tails OS on a virtual machine. Now let's look into the application menu over here. In the accessory tab you got basic applications like calculator, files and a text editor over here. And in the graphic part you got GIMP and uh, LibreOffice Draw. So GIMP is basically Photoshop for Linux. And in the internet you got Electrum, Bitcoin Wallet. Onion Sockets and Tor Browser and Thunderbird. Electrum Bitcoin Wallet is really secure Bitcoin Wallet service and uh, yeah the, the Thunderbird is the email server by the Firefox. In the office you got LibreOffice Suite, in the programming tab you got PoEdit. This is the basic programming editor you got over here and in the sound tab you got Audacity and uh, some sound juicer and a video recorder that, that is the screen recorder for this particular system. And in the system file, you got some configuration and settings, terminals, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. In the Tails, you got the basic documentation about the Tails OS. And in the utilities, you have some system monitors and password and keys management over here and some screenshot applications. So before we move forward, let's look into this uh, onion icon. If I click here and open onion sockets, so it will show me uh, the nodes from which the network is connecting to. And uh, so these are the relays from which my internet is passing through the connections. So as you can see, if I if I click over here, like uh, as you can see, this this is the fingerprint of the network and this is the IP address and uh, this is connected to some uh, random nodes over here to protect my privacy and make me anonymous over internet. So one thing I want to tell you each and everything is connected to the Tor chain in this uh, operating system so you are pretty much anonymous over the internet. Uh, as this operating system aims to do the anonymity and this preserving privacy of the user. So uh, okay let's let's jump into the Tor browser over here and uh, it's pretty much straightforward the Tor browser is opening. As you can see Tor browser is open we can check our Tor connection by clicking over here to check Tor and uh, let's wait for it. See it's, it's giving the congratulations message this browser is configured to use Tor. As I click over here I can check the Tor circuit like this browser is connected to the Netherland proxy and then again Netherland proxy and then again German proxy and then it will redirecting to me the torproject.org so this is the website uh, the check torproject.org okay let's look into uh, some deep web stuff okay 
uh first open the duckduck go okay the internet working pretty much great over here because uh, in the other systems if you install tor browser it will decrease the speed of the internet but in this os this is working really great okay now now let's look for the hidden wiki okay i'm just doing the hidden wiki if i hit enter it will show me some result okay so what i'm uh, looking over here i'm just looking for dot onion url because that is the url is on the open on the tor browser if it's really really connected to the tor network so i found the link over here for the hidden wiki uh, if i click over here if everything is working perfectly so i will be able to access the hidden wikipedia okay as you can see i'm able to access the hidden wikipedia on the deep web you can use this os to stay anonymous on the internet so let me know what you think about tail os and uh, you can comment your thoughts in comment box i will definitely look into it so that's pretty much it from my side it has been root hunter i'll catch you in my next video bye bye